Hi everyone. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add shadow effects in WordPress. You can add shadow effects in WordPress for almost any element, meaning tables, images, text boxes, and so on. There are two ways to do this. First is by using a CSS code, and second, by using a plugin. In this video, we're going to see how to do a shadow effect with a plugin. For more details about the CSS code, please read the article for which you will find the link in the description of this video. Okay, let's move on to the plugin. We're going to use two plugins to add shadow effects. The first one, it is called Drop Shadow Boxes. The link for installing it will be in the description of this video. I already installed it. I'm just going to activate it for the moment. And then I'm going to show you how to use it. Okay, in the welcome screen, they're going to ask you if you want to stay up to date with their latest news. I'm just going to press skip. Now let's go to a post and click refresh. So we're going to have the new plugin active. As you can see, a new button just appeared here. And this button will help us to add a shadow effect for a text element. Okay. One more second. Okay, just click wherever in the article you want to add a text box with shadow effect. Let's put it here. It doesn't matter. It's only for demonstration. Click add box and this pop-up will appear. Here you have different options which you can use to customize your um, text box. Let's pick this one, refresh preview. And as you can see, the shadow changed. Just feel free to, to play with these options until you get something that you like and then just press on insert box not before entering here your your content of course i'm just going to cancel it and this is just for demonstration i'm going to deactivate this um, plugin and gonna and i'm going to install another one why because this plugin can be used only for text boxes if you want to add shadows for images or tables is more complicated uh, if you want to use this plugin. It's much more easier if you use this plugin, the second one, called Yellow Pencil Light. We're, we're going to just activate it. As I said before, the link for the download is in the description of this video, as well in the article. Okay, this is a welcome screen. We're just going to ignore it. We're just going to go in the post, refresh it. Once uh, this plugin is installed, you're going to notice that a new button appeared on the top right side of your post page here, this one with yellow. We're going to click on it and a new window will uh, be open. And it will allow us to edit anything on our post. This plugin is more complex. It has a lot of other features, but in this video, we're going to use only the one dedicated to shadow effects. Of course, you can install it and play more with, with it and discover what other options they offer. Okay, let's say we want to add a shadow effect to this one, to this header. We select it. On, and on the right side, we choose box shadow and just start playing here. Do whatever you want until you get something you like. Oops, sorry. My bad. Something like this. And when you're happy with what uh, 
you get you just press save here and this is it okay thank you for watching this tutorial this is it about shadow effects as i said in the beginning of this video if you want more details about how to add a shadow effect using a css code read the entire article and let me know if you have problems or other ideas regarding this shadow effect in wordpress thank you bye